piece about that. Down to a public school program stirring debate on teaching methods, politics, and respect. Oklahoma City public school leaders say they are now freezing funds on a tool called Flocabulary. Superintendent Carl Springer gave us his take on what critics call questionable content. Gave it to our Colleen Chin tonight. Yeah, Kelly Amanda, it's a teaching tool that uses hip-hop and rap music to help students learn everything from math to history. We first told you about the issue yesterday. An Oklahoma City teacher showed us the material he calls offensive. We now know the program is being used at Seaworth Academy and the district's Extended Educational Services School. The EES program has teachers that educate students at places like the hospitals, the county jail, and juvenile detention. Catchy beats make all of us listen. To cut through the clutter and make students listen is a top priority in all classrooms. We're constantly looking for ways to engage our students. O -D -W -M, we're talking about some old dead white men. But this is not what Superintendent Carl Springer has in mind. The text, the lyrics, supposed to teach about the country's presidents, offend him so much he won't repeat the phrase. Whether you're a Democrat or a Republican or an Independent, when it comes to basically calling names of our, of our president or, or being disrespectful of any president, then you, you've started a war with me because I, I'm against that. And I think any, any person that is respectful of the United States of being an American would, would be equally as offended. But it's boldly printed in books, material being used in the Oklahoma City School District, which begs the question, did district leaders do their homework? Part of that was missed. No doubt about it. The school board approved $95,000 for the vocabulary program. Springer says the approval came at the recommendation of a regional education director. That's the amount that we could spend. The amount that we've spent to date is $10,000. Springer says he's now hitting the brakes on the remaining funds for vocabulary. So what will I do? Well, while, while we're looking at this, I'll stop that. The teacher who brought this to our attention says the disrespect to presidents is just the start of his concerns with vocabulary. The more I read, it appeared that there was an agenda there in, in that they wanted to promote these rap singers as role models, which disturbed me. The vocabulary in social studies books frequently refer to rap artists like Tupac, 50 Cent, and Jay-Z. Quotes from their songs, Hit 'Em Up, Hustler, and Big Pimpin' are clean. The songs they come from, though, are far from it. I just don't think that's appropriate. A portion teaching about political stability after 1812 goes like this. Springer calls it an insensitive and disrespectful approach at a time where the district and country are already dealing with enough of it. We have cultural issues in this community where people are trying or saying insensitive things about about the culture of, of people that live in our community. Again, the wrong message to be sending to the children. However, leaders are open to parts of vocabulary. Rogers Middle School is considering the program. If I had books that were inappropriate and they found their way into this library, we would remove the books, not the entire library. You have five vice teens. How many scoops of sugar do you think you need? Principal Mike Brown says the early math and vocabulary books and their corresponding raps appear to be clean and positive teaching tools. History, on the other hand. We would not utilize that material uh, at Rogers Middle School. Andrew Jackson thinks he's a tough guy. The superintendent says the material in question, like the chapter on presidents, points to a bigger problem. And in this country, we seem to be getting to the point where you can say anything about anybody. And that's wrong. It has money been wasted? The fact that it's caused this discussion to happen, I don't think so. I think it's a discussion we've had to have a long time. And these men, Blake Harrison and Alex Rappaport, are the founders of Flocabulary. We were scheduled to interview them via Skype tonight, but they canceled on us. Instead, issuing this statement, which in part reads, the lessons, they don't replace the textbook, but simply provide teachers with another tool they can use to reach students, especially those who aren't succeeding with traditional methods. Now, Superintendent Springer says the district is reviewing the materials, and again, the remaining funds for Flocabulary are on hold while an investigation